ويلكم ويلكم تو كيمستري اكاديمي اجين ذيس از محمود عبد اللطيف اند ان كيمستري اكاديمي توداي وي ويل انتروديوس ا ليكتشر اباوت هاو تو انالايز مولوكولار دوكينج ريزالتس ويتش كمز اوت فروم اوتو داك فور اور اوتو داك فينا اوكي As we have done before in the previous lectures, we we have done the molecular docking using using two softwares, Autodoc Four and Autodoc Vena. If you would like to analyze the results, you have in the Autodoc Four, you have to look at the DLG file docking log file, which the the log file, and you have to save the protein ligand complex, most stable complex, after visualization of this. One by Autodoc after uh, saving the uh, most stable complex as BDBQT file, and then you can visualize it. Uh, for example, by PyMole, it's uh, this extension is recognized by PyMole, or you can convert it to BDB uh, file format using uh, OpenPebel and visualize it through the web or through, for example. Uh, Uh, leg plot we will see and then you convert bdbq complex to bdb uh, file format if you are using if you if you are using autodoc vena and you would like to and you would like to uh, analyze the data you should looking at the log file which give which gives you the binding energy for different trans Uh, and you should also uh, visualize output BDBQ uh, BDBQT poses BDBQ format which contains the the uh, nine poses for the ligand on the protein, and then convert this uh, BDBQT to BDB to visualize it through the website or leg plot as we will see. Okay. In the DLG file, our docking log file, you should have a log in RMSDD table. Root mean square difference table. And in this table, you will see the binding energy, the binding affinity, and also the certain runs. And after, in the same file, you will find something related To each uh, binding energy, it's called inhibition constant, which uh, give you information about how many or how much the protein is inhibited by the ligand, and uh, also the polar interaction or the binding energy. Uh, you can see the uh, uh, in the same file. You this binding energy is. Uh, many sorts of energy which is polar interaction and hydrogen bonding and Coulomb interaction and so on we will see it uh, by visualization method or software like PyMole you can see the hydrogen bond the formed hydrogen bonding between the ligand and the amino acids in the protein also you can know the amino acids which are in contact with the ligand let's see uh, uh, later on okay We can do the molecular docking analysis with different softwares, for example, Pi with PyMole and Protein Ligand Interaction Profiler. This is web automated, full automated website. Just you introduce or uh, 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 just you give him or uh, upload to him the BDB file, and he will convert it to a certain data. Or you can use Protein Plus website. This is if you would like to uh, do in-depth, in-depth analysis for the uh, molecular docking, or using leg plot software to show two-dimensional uh, plot. We will see. Okay, let us go to uh, the analysis. Uh, We will start with uh, first by DLG file. 
which is this one okay just control f to search r m s d table for example okay r m s d r m s d okay this one okay this is we have done before we uh, left the default uh, 10 runs 10 ranking and for each rank it, uh, you will see you will find the uh, the binding energy and the lowest one the highest negative one is the most stable interaction between ligand and protein this one it's run uh, run two this run to and this is uh, reference rmscd down in this file you can see uh, for okay this is the most stable run run two ranking one number of confirmation is one rmscd reference we have seen it uh, 65 in the previous table and the estimating binding energy minus six dot o five and the most important uh, parameter inhibition constant ki this one it's uh, this value which indicates that how many uh, how much the protein is inhibited by the ligand and down you can see the binding energy parameters binding energy parameter it's the final intermolecular energy and uh, van der Waals and the hydrogen bond and the solve solvation energy and uh, torsion free energy and so on the summation of all these parameters give you the uh, the binding energy or the binding affinity uh, between the ligand and the uh, and the protein so this file is very important i have seen many references uh, published paper in high reputed repu uh, repu repu journal uh, and this references or this these papers contain this uh, data the binding energy the inhibition constant the rmscd and in addition to the vis visualization as we will do next okay let us do the uh, visualization I will start by uh, PyMole and PyMole I would say it's a very strong uh, software to visualize the data uh, comes out from Autodoc between uh, uh, ligand and protein uh, okay actually uh, we have done before uh, we have saved before the most stable complex as bdbqt file we got it from the doc log file and just drag this one to 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 uh, pi mole it looks like this one and this is the uh, just zoom in okay let us do first display the background white white background from set display settings and also be sure that to uh, tag off the valence okay and here uh, there are some uh, commands uh, which give you good visualization for example set uh, cartoon Side, just tap helper and write it one okay it's on and also it's better to visual when you visualize the uh, polar interaction to remove hydrogen just type remove hydro okay okay nice you can change the color if you don't like this one for example from all just choose cyan you can use pale cyan okay and it looks like this one 
now we can go to the ligand just left click on the ligand it looks like this one okay and then for the C selection uh, color C for color just color uh, use blues for example and slate and color by element HNOS the first one just hit in it looks like this one okay this is ligand and so on okay now uh, what we want to do we want to uh, we want to show the polar interaction for this one so what we can do just left click on it and right click to and on action just find polar contacts no I will do it this is uh, no around first around around residuous in five angstrom okay this one and for selection just show uh, sticks okay and for selection just hide uh, cartoon okay and then okay that's good just make it up and zoom in now we would like to uh, see or we want to see the polar interactions just left click on the ligand and right click and uh, find just action find where is it okay we can do from here and also we can do from selection just action find where's find okay the polar contacts uh, to other atoms in the object okay now you have C there are two polar contacts polar interaction hydrogen bonding between the ligand and so we, there are many uh, amino acids around the protein we there's no interaction with the uh, ligand so we would like it's better to a to be to hide them how to remove them just do the following just click the ligand and the two amino acids with the interaction the other one at this one be sure they are okay and just for selection sorry for the piss docking uh, hide sticks on the right hide sticks okay no, okay right and for selection for poor selection just to show sticks okay nice be sure the ligand is there are the two amino acids as you have see okay just this one and this one we can change their color okay just selection color we can show them uh, for example in uh, uh, can do in greens okay or magnetize and use violet okay and C for by by element okay now it looks better than we can zoom in okay rotate to uh, get the visual the, uh, the best visualization as you want for example we can okay we can
ok we can use this one ok now we would like to, to measure this uh, hydrogen bonding and to know which amino acids which which are uh, interacting with the ligand how we can do that just go to the uh, weather and use measurements and you will see measurements in this uh, uh, side just to click the two atoms okay it's 0 0.6 and this one and this one 3.5 they are inside the hydrogen bonding okay and now when you finish for, for the measuring just hit done okay and now we would like to label the amino acid just to go to uh, wizard uh, what's appearance label okay and just click this one okay it's gl and this one thr 190 thr 100 189 and so on okay now i would suggest you to save this uh, file uh, save session as because whatever when uh, Okay, by more this one and save because when you are going to edit this one uh, editing for the cartoon or the position of bonds cannot be undo you cannot return it back to it so I would suggest you to save a session step by step and we, once we finish labeling just we we, we we hit done okay now uh mouse smooth just mouse selection mood residue okay and click convert from three potent viewing to throw to, to three potent editing and you have to use control if you are using mac just use command and using uh, windows machine control with the left side and and then drag drag this one the labeling okay and to get the better view for example and the distance okay it's a better view now if you would like to uh, change the font size and the uh, font type you can do that from Mm. Where is settings? Oh my gosh, weather. Sorry, label. No settings. Where's label? Label, label size. You can use two different, uh, two different uh, scaling. I would suggest to use the one angstrom. Okay and size you can do the same to uh, to just drag it in this one and this one okay okay and just click for view now it's better to change the dash line just to go to setting we, we will do it from setting edit all and we can uh, dash color okay dash color this one make it uh, for example let's uh, see red for example not red or uh, gray 10 for example and also dash radius just use uh, double click here and use 
one five for example and just enter okay nice it looks nice the dash and also the color and so on what else we can do here uh, we can uh, make uh, set transparency to where is setting is where is transparency you can do it from here cartoon we can make it 50 percent also we can make it from here edit all just uh, uh, cartoon transparency just to make it 0.5 okay very nice and now you can uh, save this session or you can save re and trace draw and trace and be sure to uh, to click this box and then raise law you can change the uh, resolution the work from the previous one from this things and just re and slow and then see if it has a png file okay we can use it uh, one also for example and save also from here you can export image as any something you want from here so it's up to you okay and so on and just oh just if i would save something okay you can do it too for example as bng and save okay now we have visualized the polar interaction between the certain amino acids and uh, the ligand and it looks nice we can do it and if you would like to uh, to remove or hide the cartoon you can do that just from uh, uh, all just h for hide and uh, hide cartoon also you can get this one okay so you can do whatever you want and also you can the, you can save this one as we have done before okay now we have used as you have seen uh, the PyMole it's a very strong software to visualize the interaction and the ligand and protein and the cart cartoon and so on the next one we should go to we have used PyMole Now we will go to, to protein ligand interaction. Just you can copy this one and go to the website. Okay. And okay, this one. It's a full automated website which analyze the data which comes out from Autodoc uh, and the molecular docking. Okay, just all we need the BDBQ file. Okay, and now actually DBQ. Okay, we have to use Open Pebble. Open. Okay, this one just open it. And we need to convert the uh, actually, I have a protein data bank, I have already it. So I need it to okay, I have already converted it to BDBQ file just all what I want to do is just choose file okay just wait
come on okay we need in this one okay just go to the working directory and autoduck and autoduck uh, 4.2 and this one and pdb paste docking this one okay just choose and j j then hit analyze it will uh, prepare you a two dimension figure i think like we have got from pymole we have done it by pymole okay this one okay uh, you can save this one this one if you remember we have these two uh, polar interaction and there are two but i think the distance it much we have used this one uh, 3.6 2.5 i think this one okay 3.3 okay i remember that okay you can save this one as using eps or download the visualization as image and also the pi moon and also it, it, uh, this website doesn't give you only the uh, two, di two dimension figure just it give uh, some data like we have the hydrogen pond interaction this one and the hydrogen ponds and the uh, pi taking and so on there is it with the amino acids okay it's a number i remember it was uh, this one and 90 i think I'm wondering why okay and this is the distance for the hydrogen interaction and the hydrogen bonding it was two okay and donor and and so on just you can uh, copy you can copy this uh, this data and put them in excel sheet or word document and use it okay this is the first one we can use uh, protein plus if you'd like to have in-depth analysis just to go to uh, sorry to this one and write protein plus okay also what all you need just the bdb file just choose file and go to uh, this our working directory best uh, docking i think okay and just go this one or this website give you the uh, the ability of the ligand to be used as a drug and If you want to check, uh, this is the ligand. Okay. Drug score. And be sure to use pockets, not sub pockets, and just calculate. It takes some time. in progress from here you can change the uh, background to be white and also you can change the cartoon pull and stick for example and ligand pull and stick I'm wondering why ligand doesn't show up doesn't show up and okay let us get the results
come on okay and now this is uh, the legend in this place and the drug ability it's uh, open seven seven and simple score and this is additional information you can get it the surface area at this value and the volume in angstrom uh, cubic angstrom and this is the pose number one post zero and if you go to this one to see this one okay and this is pose two and the surface area and the drug ability and so on so you can see whatever you want in this place okay and so on what also what i want to show you also is just go back drug ability and high protein protein interaction also can study protein protein interaction if you are studying two proteins like in the in metabolism uh, uh, what else i want to show you just we if you would like 2d interaction diagram pause view just click the ligand takes its name here and then calculate okay to it will give you very nice two dimension figure and so on I'm wondering why. Why? Okay. Let us do with the third tool. The leg plot. Okay. Link below the software, just I, I have installed it, select plus, just double click on it. Also, also this software can uh, create a two dimension figure, showing the interaction and so on. Okay. Uh, just file open pdb and just browse it and we go to the our working directory this one and this one this just open just run Okay, it's a very nice figure as you see you can zoom in and out it's showing the interaction this is the ligand showing the interaction with, with, with the amino acid this one which we have done by pi mole and showing also the other uh, uh, residues which which surrounding the uh, surrounding the ligand and from here you can uh, it change the color for example and so on font and labels and so on and recenter okay and on and off you can uh, link and residue names if you can this one you can for example can title and just okay and so on 
It's a very nice figure showing the ligand and interaction, polar interaction with the protein and so on. Okay, uh, now for auto uh, duck vena, the output comes out. Uh, the output file it's not exactly like this one so we can do it very fast using pymol just go to pymol and just uh, all action uh, delete everything okay and now I have showed you before when you uh, when we were doing uh, the autodog vena just we uh, get the protein bdbq file drag it and then drag the poses output and so on okay as you have seen and we should do the same thing as we have done before just uh, show the interaction within five angstrom and show the polar contacts and you uh, and measure the distance and you can label uh, uh, the residues and uh, and so on we, uh, I think we have done it in the first of the lecture I wish with this lecture uh, you got you you, you 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 got an idea about how to analyze the data which comes out from molecular docking using different software like PyMole and uh, Lake Plot and full automated websites like Protein League and Profiler Interaction and also uh, Protein Plus and so on. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the lecture and if you if you like it just uh, if you like the lecture just uh, like and uh, subscribe to our channel chemistry academy to uh, and just activate the ringer to get any news any uh, new videos uh, until we meet again i wish you all the best and bye bye